Well, whatever time of day or night it is with you, welcome along to a game which is threatened, I have to tell you, by a rather forbidding weather forecast. The expectation is for quite heavy rain as the game grows older this evening. It hasn't arrived just yet, but it will do shortly. Glad to report, though, that that hasn't affected the crowd, who are here in good number and indeed in good voice. And the game will be underway very soon. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue, quite a sight to behold. And we rise now for the English national anthem. Quite some performance, and now here comes the response. This is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Well, get ready for some high-grade football, Peter. Two strong teams, as you say, full of wonderful individual talent. And we have every right to anticipate some really entertaining football. As to whether we'll see a high-scoring contest, that's a little harder to predict. I'm not complaining, though, because there are good players everywhere you look around this surface, and that's a fine start in itself. And we're underway. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Yeah, Jordan Pickford. He's a great all-round goalkeeper, Peter. Uh, great at shot-stopping and dominant in his box. He also gets counter-attacks going with his accurate long passes. The opposite... It's Mertens! Step for Stefan on goal. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind, and I don't think he knew either. Sterling, Kyle Walker, forward it goes, he'll have a go, oh fine stop from the keeper, Rashford really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. certainly could have and should have made more of that. The Tongan drives it forward. Sterling can't get the better of his opposite number. Played out to the right, he's got through. Now it's Hazard. Hazard hits one! It's in! And what a great way to start the game, to spark the game. I mean, the captain has basically triggered a contest that should be even livelier than we anticipated. Get your seatbelts on, this could be rather exciting. 
Oh, it's a keeper's nightmare, Peter. He just couldn't pick up on it until it was way too late, having so many bodies in front of him. England fail at this early stage. How will they respond? Rice. England have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Oh, Kane! Just off target. His reputation is better than what we've just seen. Talking Azar, and it's Azar. Barkley gets it back. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Out to the left it goes. Gets the better of his man. Azar, lovely bit of skill. Going after it, Torgan Azar. Azar with the towering header. Lingered over it, and the chance to counter had gone. Lukaku simply took an age to make his mind up, Peter, when urgency was the, the single requirement. Deli Ali. There has been just the early goal here, and it's 1 0. He's got away. And that's been levered clear. Just brushed off the ball there. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Well, and it's Sterling nicely controlled. A chance to play it in. Deli Alley, lovely feet. Almost half an hour in now, and here's Kane. Kane really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. Witzel. Torgan Azar. Looks to clip it forward. Oh, that's a waste. Well, Stones, Rice, Stones goes looking. Talking Azar, Azar. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Talking Azar. Azar, Azar with the delivery. Defending of the desperate variety. And it's Azar. 
That is terrific skill. Gets up to head it! Oh, just needed a better contact. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Deli Ali. Needs a bit of penetration to go with all this possession. De Bruyne. Barkley battles to win it back. Rice plays it forward. Now the counter. That's a promising ball. And the shot! Witzel. And the referee brings the first half to a close. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but half of still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Well, Peter, there really hasn't been an awful lot to separate the two sides. One goal scored from a breakaway, and, and that's it. So I'm expecting the second half to start in, um, in this manner too, and, and this is by no means decisive, and there's plenty of time left to to get back into this. Belgium, they're in at half-time with a slender one-goal lead. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. Well, it's been... It's Lukaku! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Oh, that was great pressure to force the initial error, Peter. It's the perfect example as to why this is a favourite tactic of a lot of teams these days. Swung over, great leap! Oh, the ball's come loose! Good clearance and very necessary. Rashford, and he's being closely tested here. Pickford, will they claim to that? A real chance to break. Chilwell. Deli Alley. Forward tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. You have to admire a commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing. But instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to uh, to dig in for his team here. Azar! It's off target and by quite a way. Jordan Henderson. Still just a single goal between the sides. Stones tries to get it forward quickly. Too much on it and out of play. Witzel. Well, no doubt someone is being given special treatment here. Yeah, and if they're going to try and stop him in this fashion, Peter, um, they're going to really test the referee's patience from here. There are a few waiting for it. Torgan Azar. Lukaku. And a second time. Oh, taken with style. Two to the good. They have breathing space. Time and space are plenty, he was never going to miss. Ah, Peter, that was just a, a defensive act of generosity that was always going to uh, have a painful ending. Belgium take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. 
Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. And Sterling! Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. Company. Talking as are. Company. Hoists it forward. And they're not going to make any further progress now. And that's a throw. Alderweireld, and it's played forward. Now it's Lukaku, he hits it! Oh, what a wonderful stop! Lukaku is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. He's making good you Kane! It's there! That really is quite fabulous, all his own doing. We have got ourselves a game here. Well, they've given themselves a chance here, but now it's a case of getting the balance right between attack and defence, and that's not easy. And here's Mertens. Deftly done. Belgium are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Aldevero does well to read it and intercepts. De Bruyne. Company. Witzel. Over to the left. Hazard pushes to get on the end of it. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Good idea, just poorly executed. The Tongan plays it forward. Belgium just have to run down the clock. Forward it goes. And it's Deli Alley. Rashford. England have a simple task to find something sustained now and keep the pressure on. For Tongan. Witzel. Confirmation that there will be two minutes stoppage time. He could be in here. And Sterling! And the referee brings it to a close. Belgium have held on. A knife edge game, a single goal margin but they have won it. No reflections then, Jim. I think it's all about setting the right tone at the start of the match, and if you can back that up with an early goal, it just energises everybody, the whole performance, and I think they were certainly more fluid as a result of the early goal. And thanks to Jim.